The official Naruto and Baruto website has released new information about Baruto's Rasengan Uzuhiko and other powers. This has answered our question regarding Baruto's innovative Rasengan. Not only that, this official news about Baruto revealed who taught Baruto the Rasengan and how this Rasengan works best. This information is available in the database on the official website, similar to the databooks. Additionally, it's evident how skilled Baruto has become and how he can enhance the scale of the Uzuhiko, using the essence of this power, which harnesses the planet's energy to create new techniques. Guys, this new Rasengan from Baruto has changed everything we knew about power concepts and even added a new level. With this new explanation released by the official website, the power has been better detailed. The Rasengan Uzuhiko, or as I like to call it, the ultimate spiral attack, is a jutsu that Baruto learned during the time skip. Until now, we had some theories about it, but with the new information presented, an important character has come into play, Tonari Otsutsuki. Well, after all of the events involving Baruto and Kawaki, including their role reversal, Baruto had to flee with Sasuke and to spend some time training. During this period, Baruto evolved a lot, learned some new techniques, and mastered everything Sasuke taught him in a short time. After mastering and perfecting everything, Boruto took some time to create a new technique, and then created the Rasengan Uzuhiko. After three years, Code invaded Konoha, and Boruto realized he needed to return and act to stop Code. When he arrives in the village, he engages in a fight with Code and the many Jubis. To finish, Boruto activates the Rasengan Uzuhiko, which initially caused surprise as its chakra spirals begin to envelop Boruto's body. After that, Boruto hits Code with an attack, and just like that, one hit was enough to end Code. In fact, at first glance, it seemed to be a regular attack, and Code appeared unscathed, with no injuries on his body. But when Code tried to hit Boruto, he simply couldn't, and Boruto seemed much, much faster. But in reality, it was Code who had become slower. This happened because the Rasengan Uzuhiko creates a strong sensation of nausea, dizziness, and disorientation. This occurred simply because Baruto used the rotational energy of the planet as power in his Rasengan. This sense of imbalance is permanent and would only stop in two situations. Either the Earth stops rotating or the person who was hit dies. There is a third way, which is Baruto deactivating the Rasengan, and that's what happened. Now let's stop to think. Baruto literally used the rotational energy of the planet, which is a whole new level of power and a whole new level of ridiculous. We've never seen anything like that before. Previously, we thought that Baruto used the chakra of the planet's rotation, but it was clarified by the official website that it wasn't chakra, but energy. It's not like the natural chakra that Sage Mode uses, which makes the jutsu even more incredible. Well, I'll leave here exactly what the official site said. A new form of Rasengan that utilizes not only the user's chakra, but also the rotation and orbit of the planet, along with the centrifugal forces and other corresponding forces. In addition to the damage that a standard Rasengan causes, it destroys the target's sense of balance, debilitating. Due to the incessant nature of planetary movement, the effects of Uzuhiko do not disappear, resulting not only in physical damage, but also in incalculable psychological damage. Boruto refers to the planetary energy used by Uzuhiko as planetary chakra, but this is not the same as the nature energy used by ninjas like Naruto and Mitsuki when they enter Sage Mode. Well, this opens the doors to many possibilities. If Boruto was able to use the planet's own energy, he could use energy from other sources, such as the energy of the moon, space, the universe, the waters of the center of the planet, and so on. This could create new techniques, maybe even new Rasengans. Well, that's a topic for another video, right? So, back to it. So, who did Boruto learn the Rasengan Uzuhiko from? Sasuke Uchiha. Did Baruto learn the new Rasengan from Sasuke? Those years of training were about two years with Sasuke, and as we saw in the flashback, Baruto dedicated himself so much to the training that he mastered everything in a short time. However, they encountered Code and started a fight, but Sasuke had to sacrifice himself to save Baruto, and is currently sealed in a mini GUB tree. Regarding the Rasengan Uzuhiko, I find it very unlikely that Sasuke was the one who taught Baruto for a few reasons. The main reason is the fact that Sasuke has never shown the use of similar techniques, not even natural energy, as he has never entered Sage Mode. Moreover, I think that in those two years there wouldn't have been enough time for Boruto to learn 
given that he focused on perfecting more basic techniques. Kashin Koji So did Boruto learn the Rasengan Uzuhiko from Kashin Koji? We know that Kashin Koji became an ally of Boruto and they are fighting together, to the point that Kashin Koji always sends toads to Boruto. Initially, it was believed that Kashin Koji had taught this to Boruto, for a simple reason. He is the only ally of Naruto who knows how to use natural energy entering Sage Mode. However, this probably didn't happen, simply because the official explanation says that it is not natural chakra, but rather planetary energy, which means it works differently. We also have never seen Kashin Koji using anything like that. Tonari Otsutsuki Does this mean that Boruto learned the Rasengan Uzuhiko from Tonari Otsutsuki? Well, at this point, that is one of the only options, and it's totally possible. Before, we might have thought it was difficult, since traveling to the moon where Tonari is is complicated. However, traveling between dimensions has become cliché. Another thing is that in the anime, Tonari visited Boruto's dream. Moreover, the cherry on top is that Tonari is the only character we've seen control a celestial body, which is the moon. We saw Madara bring down meteors and such, but nothing compares to this. Tonari's plan was to crash the moon into the earth, and he was doing it. However, after being defeated, he managed to return the moon to its orbit. Many might argue that Tonari only managed to do this because of his Tenseigen, but something that contradicts this is the fact that he returned the moon to its place after being defeated and losing the Tenseigen. This means it might be a power he learned. There is a possibility that it is a Tenseigen power, and Tonari using this power after losing the Tenseigen might be a plot hole, but I think things don't go that way. Even if you think it is a Tenseigen power, we can also expand the theory by saying that Boruto's Jogen possesses the same power as the two dojutsus are similar. In the end, Tonari is the only one we've seen manipulating planetary level forces. There is also the possibility that Tonari's power is merely the control of attraction and repulsion, which is simpler, but to move the entire moon requires a lot of power. If Boruto learned this from Tonari, it opens up a wide range of abilities he might awaken and he might have learned more things from the moon guy. Now imagine if that's really the case. Boruto trained by Sasuke, Kashin Koji, and Tonari. Wow, what luck. Another possibility is that Boruto learned it from Momoshiki. However, I find it unlikely since we haven't seen Momoshiki demonstrate anything similar and it seems the two are still not cooperating and Boruto is even afraid of the karma. Now will we see an escalation in Boruto's power? If he can use the planet's energy, will he be able to control this energy to control the planet? These are different things, using the energy and controlling that energy, but we can't dismiss the possibility. This opens the door for new planetary level powers for Boruto. I think the Tonari idea is cool, but I still have my doubts. Since I'm just presenting this theory, I don't believe it 100% and I don't defend it vehemently. But since this possibility arose, I decided to bring it to you. And if you liked learning about this update from the official site and the theory that Tonari taught Boruto, please subscribe to the channel, activate notifications to receive new Boruto 2 Blue Vortex videos, and check out the new videos on the screen. And I'll see you in the next video.